Hey everybody, um, I know that long term um, some guys are interested in a really detailed, uh, basically zero to flight ready um, transmitter and CGY 760R setup video. Um, but for those with Spectre 700s, I wanted to do just a quick run through of my transmitter setup, gyro setup, and also ESC setup on the PC. Um, so I've got this stuff all open, set up, and plugged in all at the same time so I can try to make this as quick as possible. Um, so like I said, this is just a short overview. Um, first, let's start with the transmitter. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you the linkage menu real quick. Um, in function, uh, you'll see all I've done is rename some things so that way I remember what they are. Um, and I have channel 10 set to toggle my gyro conditions. Um, you'll see that later in SBUS Basic. Um, everything else uh, I've just made uh, with a space so that way uh, you don't have to see a name because I'll between models sometimes I forget what I've assigned where um, endpoint wise um, you'll notice it's all default um, the only thing you might need to change is just your throttle endpoint to get the ESC to arm depending on which ESC you're using if you've got um, ESCs that memorize the endpoints uh, during their setup then no problem you wouldn't even have to adjust those so for tuning and flying, um, I go ahead and set up my uh, user menu so that way all of the parameters that I ever want to adjust um, for setup are already in front of me. Um, I have gyro settings. Um, this is basically your GPB-1 for setup and also your wireless tuning. Uh, gyro, which is your gyro gains for rotor head and tail rotor, pitch curve, throttle curve, uh, AFR and dual rate, and this is where I have set up uh, the, the different conditions. Um, as you can see, as I toggle through my different flight conditions, I have three different conditions set up. Um, that's how you toggle between those. I'll reset the timer there real quick. Um, okay, uh, program mixes. Uh, I put that in there just in case I ever want to uh, try a program mix or have something else on board, like a U-Glow switch glow that I want to um, toggle, say, at, at a certain percent or mix. Um, my throttle curves, as you can see, they toggle with my flight condition. Um, and that, that is raised because I've got it set up for bailout. Um, you'll notice I fly kind of a typical nitro setup um, where actually this is 0% throttle and then I can spool it up manually in my hover mode. In my pitch curve, um, in normal, I actually have no negative pitch. Um, that's just for hovering. And then in 3D, in all the different 3D modes, including auto rotation, um, it's straight linear. Um, the bottom side is 100%, and then there is a little bit of differential in this rotor head, so the top is set to 97% to give an equal top and bottom 14 degrees. In gyro, um, you'll see in my hover mode, um, at 1600 RPM, um, and you, you don't want to run these high gains uh, if your RPM is higher than 1600 probably. Um, I've got my tail rotor gain at 80 and my rotor head gain at 90. Um, when I toggle into my 3D modes, um, the tail rotor gain goes down to 50 and the rotor head gain goes down to 60. Um, same thing for auto rotation. Um, and even my blur, the, the crazy fast 500 degrees per second mode, um, the gains are the same. Okay, that pretty much covers everything here except for condition. You can see I've got my, my three different flight conditions, one for the blur 3D, the crazy fast, normal, just every day out there flying 3D, and then auto rotation. Now we're gonna go to gyro settings, quickly run through these. Okay, in basic menu, um, we're gonna start with Swash Basic uh, 760, so I've got my servo set, um, and I've also got my neutrals set um, in the servo, so there's no sub trim. And uh, the great thing about the Spectre 700 with the Futaba servos, the stock arms and stock geometry on the inner blade grip hole, 50% um, in all conditions is nine degrees cyclic, 50% pitch rate is 14 degrees collective. And then with that, there's absolutely no binding on the swash plate at full, full travels. Um, so it is 150% swash ring. Um, that is part of the reason why this model flies so well, is because um, you do have a lot of cyclic overhead room. Um, and then here I just memorized that slight offset um, in my collective pitch from top to bottom. Okay, We'll go to rudder, um, 760 servo, all stock, 
um, I'm using the stock servo arm, tail rotor servo arm on the inner hole. So my endpoints are 130 and 130. Governor inhibited, um, but I do want to want my RPM to display. So I've got my RPM put in, uh, pull, motor pull count, and then have this turn to active and set to slot number two. S bus basic, again, all default. The only thing I change is I just inhibit uh, the governor RPM and the governor switch because I'm using the Scorpion. And I have my condition set to channel 10. And because I want wireless between my 69Z and my 32MZ, um, I assign those to two consecutive channels. Okay. Um, now we're going to go into the flight tuning in the setup side, which I think is what everybody's probably looking for. Um, so you'll notice in my hover mode, um, this is just for hovering. We'll start there. Um, everything is default here. Um, in my control authority, I lower 5% on both aileron and elevator. Um, that is really blade dependent. If you have a fast set of rotor blades, it will reach your control, commanded control rate faster. If you have a more stable set of rotor blades, um, it will reach that slower. So uh, for more stable blades, um, You'll, you'll probably have to increase that to make it feel like it's reaching commanded rate quickly when you when you push the stick over. Um, if your blades are a little less stable, um, you'll want to lower that number. Um, so default's 40. I just felt that it was reaching commanded rate a little faster than what I wanted it to. Um, so that's lower. Expo, that's all personal preference. I've just settled on negative 15%. And in this hover mode, I've turned flight style up to 95. Um, and that is just because I want it to be really rigid. Elevator comp and HP authority are at zero. Okay, let's go into my normal 3D mode. Um, so here, you'll see defaults again, 100, 300. I've lowered the control authorities down to 35. Expo is negative 15. Uh, the difference here is the flight style. When I'm out there doing 3D, I want it to be a little bit more fluid, less um, kind of robotic or, or crisp on the, on the cyclic. So I lower that down to 35. Defaults 50, I would start there and see where you like it. Uh, elevator comp zero, HP authority zero. Um, so now this this bank here, I call it blur um, 3D, um, which is the crazy fast 500 degrees a second. You do want to creep up on that number one because it becomes harder to fly, um, and number two, uh, if your blades can't actually deliver that much control, uh, the cyclic will continue to coast as it's trying to reach that commanded rate. Um, so anyways, you'll just see the big difference here is I crank the cyclic rate up to make it go faster. Control authorities are the same. I do add a little bit more expo just to try to make it flyable around neutral. Um, and the flight style is the same as my 3D mode. Stop, zero and zero. And that covers all of the basic settings. We're gonna go into the expert menu. This one's probably gonna be a little disappointing. Flight expert, everything is stock and all the settings, so. If everything in that in that swash basic is set up right, you should not have to touch flight expert. Um, rudder expert, I've added a little bit of expo. Um, I have tuned the stops. I've taken out all the control landing uh, delays. That's just a personal preference thing. Um, and the stops are tuned. So with right rudder, it's got a delay of four. With left rudder, it's got a delay of six. And that just makes it so the tail comes to a complete stop no matter what I'm doing. And I slow the tail rate down to 600 degrees per second, just for kind of personal preference. Uh, there's zero feed forwards, and everything is all default past that. Governor, obviously it's off, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, the thing that I will touch on, now these numbers here, um, you're going to notice, will be different from helicopter to helicopter, servo to servo. So um, I would not copy these initial settings. Um, I would not copy this. This is just something you'll need to do on yours. Um, same thing with this, same thing with this top and bottom, but this is what is giving you um, that real true control feel that the 760 has. Um, the speed comp, which is something you can use, um, I've lowered it to seven. Um, that is what the compensation for the geometry from the front two servos to the back servo. Um, and everything else is default. You'll notice swash rotation is default. So that actually covers everything regarding the transmitter setup. Um, now let's kind of, and gyro setup. Now let's move over to the ESC. Um, it's a Scorpion Tribunus. It's the new 200 plus. Um, you can see here all the settings. What I've done is gone to PID with pre-stored value. So that way my RPM is the same every flight. 
uh, BEC voltage is 8.1 volts. Um, and then also I set it to counterclockwise. That way if the if something ever resets or I accidentally reset it, um, the motor will turn backwards um, if it's in default clockwise. Um, the communication protocol is standard because I'm just using the internal governor and the throttle curves in the radio. In the settings, um, I have everything set to medium uh, for the accelerations. Um, and then the governor gain is set to custom, but um, the I gain, D gain are set to medium. Um, and then I just lower the P gain to 0.3. Um, I really do not like tail kick. Um, so by lowering that P gain a little bit, I can eliminate all of the tail kick with hard collective, hard cyclic, and you don't need any feed forwards. Um, I gain correction is enabled, and stored RPM is what uh, the ESC will store when you put it into pre-stored. Protection-wise, I leave them all default. Configuration, um, you just put in your motor's gear ratio, which stock 11 tooth pinions, 9.63 on the Spectre, and uh, pole pairs, which is half of the pole count, um, is set to 5, so that way it outputs the RPM correctly. Um, your throttle calibration minimum and maximum are set here, um, and that's done by powering on with a stick at full, as per the manual. So that is my setup completely, and uh, hope you guys can put this in your helicopter, or give it a try, give me some feedback, um, and if there's something you don't like, let me know, and um, I can help troubleshoot with you.